it's Arbor Day and it's Friday and I've been putting this off for a while so I'm gonna do a very short planting video. It's time to plant the lettuce and our mustards. I'm gonna start off with some butter crunch. In this particular bed we're gonna do butter crunch and tennis ball lettuce and we're gonna spread them out and then uh, when the time comes we're gonna be putting tomatoes in here but for now it's gonna be lettuce. It's very healthy. I'm just digging some up. You can see they're nice roots. So they're coming out on some pretty good clumps. I'm very pleased with them. And yes, in fact, you do not need to use little plug trays, seed trays, 48, 72, whatever. Uh, sometimes you could just do a whole flat and just break them apart. It's easier in seed trays, but not always necessary. In this case, you could see do fine. So you might be watching this and ask yourself, hey Chrissy, you plant stuff really close together all the time. Where are these spread out? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Not today, but sometime this weekend, I'll be putting just lettuce seeds, a little diamond pattern around here to direct sow them. So get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And the lettuce that'll grow in the middle will grow along with our tomatoes. So I'm gonna do the same thing over there. As it appears, I only have four uh, slow bolt lettuce, that's what this is. I was willing to try it because it kind of reminded me of tangle lettuce, which is one of my favorites. So, put that here. I get one of those wooden dowels where you just kind of go like this and it's a hole. Give it a hole. This one didn't end up with too, too much. And I'm just going to put it in there. A little water. Everything after. These are all hardened off, so they're, they're okay with the wind. We just gotta get them in the ground. Oh, well, these look so good! This is a uh, Paris Island Romaine, and that's a slow bolt. And if you saw our video this week, then you know what that is. And it's got bigger. And if you don't know what it is, go to our YouTube and you'll find out. All right, time for the mustards. Well, I hope you can hear me over the wind. It is so windy out here, and I hate it. I can, I don't know, I could do hot and cold. It's not windy. Ugh. Anyways, this needs some water. This is a Mizuna mustard. Mizuna Benetushi, to be precise. Um, I meant to plant these yesterday, so I didn't water them, but I did not. So I'm planting them today. We're gonna give them some soil, give them some water, and this will perk right back up. You can also see here I have some tatsoi. Uh, what is this? Mibuna mustard, which I'm a little skeptical of. And I think that's it. I think it's just those three. And we are gonna split it up between those two beds. So you can see here why I let it dry out. So we have great root structure, good healthy roots here. But when it's dry, it stays together. When you pop it out like a little plug, and then you can just pop it right in. So here's a tip for you. Now those look really nice. Now they'll perk up in a, probably under an hour, but we're losing light. So by tomorrow, these are gonna be nice and perky and happy. They look, they look pretty sweet. So the two beds um, I put the mustards in, we're gonna be planting like melons, uh, pumpkins, whatever. This is gonna be a hole. <laughs> it's gonna be a mess behind me in the summer. But for now, that's fine. And as these are on the way out, you know, we'll put all the, all the stuff in there. I could probably grow some radishes in there right now. 
All right, last up is our green sped, which will eventually have some okra when it gets warm. You can see I have more Swiss chard. This is our rhubarb Swiss chard. I think I have one ruby red, um, but you can see the ones over here that are like hot pink. That is peppermint Swiss chard, which thankfully I have some backups of, and they're all hard enough. These are doing well. They'll actually pop when I water them, so I'll show you that when it's done. I stand corrected. This is literally called pink Swiss chard. So all of the peppermint Swiss chard is dead, unfortunately. They had really cool looking stems. I have more seeds, so we'll grow some in the fall, but for now, this is what we got. Okay, so I put all of the pink Swiss chard in here, and pink Swiss chard's fun. I didn't end up getting it on video, but their roots are also like hot pink, which is super cool. Now next to this one, I don't know if you can see right in there, there's a little tiny peppermint Swiss chard. So let's see how it does. Um, I think I talked about what happened to this bed in one of our YouTube, so I'll just explain it here. So I ended up planting these right before we went out of town, and unfortunately, because I wasn't here to check on them, they got a bit dry, but they're doing fine. We only lost um, a couple of peppermint Swiss chard. If the other one survives, it'd be great. Everything else is doing fine. Anything that wasn't like totally hardened off came off, like you can see with this one. But the plants themselves are like totally fine. They've already have like a ton of new growth on them. So I'd say about like a week, two weeks time, these are gonna be looking real mint. And our rhubarb Swiss chard. I'm just gonna put them over here. I guess I didn't account for spacing. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I think there's enough stuff over there. So I'll just put it in the middle of this bed. And we're gonna call it a day. Alright, as you can see, we are fast losing daylight, although it's gorgeous. Out. We got everything in. It's starting to look like a real garden here. All of our onions are coming up. Well, we use onion sets, but they're sprouting. And I got some greens in the ground. And I've been taste testing all of these as they've been growing. We'll put some beets in here, but yeah, all looks good. There's some of uh, Greg's good beer. This one of the IPAs he made. We didn't make a video of that one. Check it out. Let's see, now that I've watered all the little rows of carrots coming up. Let me show you one more thing outside and I think you'll appreciate it because it's Arbor Day. we didn't get that many flowers on it last year. Last year was the first year we planted it. And now, it's like the whole thing has stuff on it. Over here. This is one of our pears. Look at that. Also say hello to our new addition. This is a Moor Park apricot. Which is apparently also 
one. I don't know if this counts as a tree. I think it does. We have a contorted mulberry, which even as this little, I'm gonna guess it's either a sapling or a clone. It's very crooked. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, so I'm gonna end this inside because I got cold because it's like constantly windy out. But we finally got our greens planted, which is amazing. I'm thrilled to see all the trees flowering out. Um, we have a video on YouTube about how we did our spring pruning of them. So if you wanna check that out, it's, a, it's okay. <laughs> no, um, I take that back, it's amazing. Um, we actually use a book to help us prune those because while I grow a bunch of tropical trees, I actually had no idea how to grow like apples or pears or peaches, so that's new to me. And uh, we actually counted up how many trees we've planted on our property and we've planted 16 so far. We have two more waiting to go in and that's not even including like all the other perennials or like fruit bushes we put in, so go team. <laughs> If you're looking at all this and you're like, oh my god, I can never do that, um, do a little bit at a time. I've killed so many plants, you're going to kill plants. Just keep doing it and eventually you're going to learn. Watch the YouTube videos, get yourself some books online. If you just Google, like, top 10 books about gardening, top 10 YouTubers who garden, and you look at, like, many lists of that, you're probably going to see some stuff cross over. You'll see certain books keep popping up, certain content creators keep popping up, and those ones that keep popping up, check them out. Or I'm sure we're not on Google, but if you're watching us either on YouTube or Instagram, hi. Thank you for your support. We do appreciate it. And sorry, I don't know if you can find us on Google. If you can, let me know, because that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> but keep trying, keep experimenting. You're not gonna know what works for you, uh, where you live, uh, your your capacity to like keep up with stuff until you do it. And that takes trial and error because it's unique to everyone. So that's my two cents on that. I hope everyone has a great weekend. We are in the last weekend of April, going into May, and I love May for a lot of reasons. It's a good planting month also, so just so you know. So I'm going to enjoy my Greg's Good Beer, and I'm going to look at our um, greenhouse and figure out that because I got to deal with that this weekend too. So I hope you take care, and we'll see you next week on YouTube or probably here tomorrow on Instagram. All right, take care.